It's an absolutely brilliant question. It's a question that you should definitely try. Probably very difficult to do it in an exam context, but you should definitely try this question. Fine. So, two circles with radius 2r and root 2r, radii 2r and root 2r, intersect with each other at points a and b. So 2r and root 2r, 2r, root 2r. The centers of both the circles are on the same side of AB. So clearly, this diagram is wrong. We're looking for a diagram like this. This being AB. This itself is difficult to get. So keep an eye on this. O is the center of the bigger circle. So O is the center of the bigger circle here. Angle AOB is 60 degrees. Bigger circle is 2R, smaller circle root 2R. Find the area of common region between the two circles. So we're looking to find this area. Wonderful question, really nice, tough question. So I'm going to draw the diagram out first and then reimagine this question. And so to start with, I'm going to call the centers with two circles as O1 and O2 because we have, we're going to have two centers. And so, so large circle and small circle intersecting like this. I'm going to think about this common between these two, I'm going to imagine this is this area plus this area. Okay. First up, let's do some simple geometry. So the, the radii of the large circle is 2R, this angle is 60 degrees. So we're looking at our, our, an equilateral triangle. So this will be 2R, 2R, and 2R. Okay. So now, if you imagine the smaller circle, this is root 2r, this is root 2r. The ratio of the sides is root 2 is to root 2 is to 2, or 1 is to 1 is to root 2. This is an isosceles right angle triangle. This angle here is 90 degrees. It really helps. And so the area common between these two circles is area of the smaller circle minus this, this sliver here, this crescent shaped piece or another way of thinking about it is if you think about the smaller circle and we think about this space this is a segment a major segment from the larger circle and think about this region this is a minor segment so for the smaller circle we can extract the major segment for the larger circle we can think about the minor segment and then add these two up we should get area common between these two. And so let's go right ahead and do that. And so let's look at the large circle first. So large circle, this is 2R, 2R, 2R. We want this area, area of the sector minus area of triangle. Area of sector is 1 sixth of pi into 2R whole square minus root 3 by 4 into 2R whole square. And so this is pi by 6 into 4r square or pi by 3 into 2r square minus root 3 by 4 into 4r square minus root 3r square. This is area of the small segment here, minor segment of the large circle. And so pi by 3 into 2r square because this is uh, is one sixth of the circle angle in between is 60 degrees 60 by 360 one sixth of pi r square radius is 2 r we've got this down next up we're going to think about the smaller circle this angle is 90 so remaining is 270 or three quadrants 3 by 4 into pi into root 2 r whole square plus area of this this is root 2 r root 2 r area of the triangle is half into root 2r into root 2r. These two get knocked off. We have an r square here, which becomes 2 by 2r square. So we have 3 by 2 pi r square plus r square. Now, we're going to put these two together. So we're going to add up 2 by 3 pi r square. Minus root 3 r square plus 3 by 2 pi r square plus r square. Let's put the pi's together. 
3 by 2 is 9 by 6 2 by 3 is 4 by 6 9 by 6 plus 4 by 6 pi r square minus root 3 r square plus r square or the area would be 13 by 6 pi r square minus root 3 r square plus r square let's see if that matches with one of the choices that we have 13 by 6 plus 1 minus root 3 r square is the answer absolutely wonderful question one question like this can get all your ideas in in, in, in mensuration crystal clear anything to do with circle sector segments you're through so even if it takes you 15 minutes 18 minutes 20 minutes hang in there get it right you see the whole structure and get it right then you're through and home